called the, the stuff that might happen to it along the way. It's called channel noise. Sometimes it's called ghosty noise. So you start out, you have like a zero. And you make that, you specify that that's a certain voltage. A zero means two volts. So I start out with my zero, it's a two volt signal. I send it along the wire, and that's on the way, maybe the voltage changes. Maybe the voltage increases, maybe the voltage decreases. If it increases too much or decreases too much, it will no longer look like a zero to me and it might start to look like a one. I'm trying to understand the problem here. But I may have a kind of specific example. Suppose we let zero be two volts and we let one be three volts. You'd think that would be pretty clear. Two volts means zero, three volts means one. But the signal changes as it's going along by this noise. The noise has a mean of zero volts and the standard deviation is 0.22 volts. So on average, there's no noise. But that's just on average. Sometimes the noise is one volt. Sometimes the noise will be negative one volt. Meaning it takes one volt away. The way this uh, particular thing is set up, we're going to assume that something is a two no, sorry. We're going to assume that something is a zero if the voltage is less than 2.6. And we'll think it's a one if it's more than 2.6. I don't know why I didn't just split it right from zero. I thought I'd make it 2.6 to make it interesting. What you'd like to know is what's the probability that a bit ends up being a zero? What are the overall chances of an error? There are two things that can go wrong. <coughs> zero can get turned into one, and one can get turned into zero. Everything else is fine. One becoming a one is fine, and zero staying zero is still fine. So we'd like to find the probability of these two events. Fun exactly. Thank you. 